Hello, and welcome to GarageBand Lesson 4. In this lesson, we're going to burn our GarageBand project to disk, and we're going to export it as an MP3. If you only want to burn the one project, the easiest way to do that is within GarageBand itself. You go up to Share, Burn Song to CD. It tells you to put in a disk, pop that right in the drive, and we wait. Before too long, it says it's ready to burn. Click on Burn. We wait while it writes the track. And then it burns. Finishing. Verifying. And when it's finished, it pops right out. And from beginning to end, that was just a little bit over a minute. So, we have our one song burned on a disc. But if you want more than one song on your disc, that's where we need to share with iTunes. Send song to iTunes. And you can put any playlist in here you want. This just happens to be the last one I used. We'll keep that. But you can delete that, type in the name of a playlist that you've already created, or type in the name of a brand new one. Share that. If iTunes isn't already open, it will open all by itself. And there's my song, Loops. Now I moved it into iTunes because I want to put more than one song on my disc. So I'm just going to grab, for example here, I'm just going to grab a few that are nearby. We'll grab for release. We'll grab October, October, and click back on my same playlist. And now I have three songs to burn to CD. And you simply go over here and click on Burn Disc. And that's all fine. It asks to insert a blank disc. Pop that in the drive. And we wait. Before too long, it says initializing, writing, burning, and then it's all finished. And a short playlist, short songs, didn't take too long. It was a little over a minute. Your finished disc will show up under Devices. Click on the Eject button, and out it comes from your disk drive. So we burned one song using GarageBand. We burned our GarageBand song in iTunes from a playlist. Let's say you don't want to burn it. You want to put it on the internet. So I'm going to scroll down here, find my playlist. There's my song, and I want to put that online. But right now it's not in a very compatible file format. Get rid of that. And if we go where it says File, Get Info, click there, it will tell us what file format we have. And right where it says kind, AIFF. And that's the default file type when you export a song out of GarageBand. And it's it gives you very good quality and it's stereo, which is good, but it's bad for internet because the file size is pretty big. So we need to make that be an MP3 instead. So it's highlighted, go up to advanced, create mp3 version and converting. It's converted. Yay, that's good. But guess what? This isn't the converted file. If we go to file, get info, that's still our AIFF file. So get rid of that. We need to find our converted mp3 version. And guess what? It's in the library. Click on music, go over here, type in the name of the song, and we have loops and we have another loops. Just looking at the title, there's no way to tell which one is the AIFF and which one is the MP3. So we highlight, go back to get info, and the top one on the list, that was our old one, 9.5. This better be the MP3. File, get info, and there it is. And we went from 9.5 down to 1.1, which is much better if you're 
posting things online. If people are going to download it, you don't want the file size to be too big. So there's our song, and you can do with it what you may. You can drag it to the, your desktop, you can put it in a folder, you can upload it to somewhere, and you're ready to go. So you can burn, you can turn it into an mp3, and that is exporting with GarageBand and iTunes. Thanks for watching.